My friend, you're doing what? You're quitting your job to stay with him? Uh-uh. My friend, what if he leaves you? Like all men cheat. Uh-uh. You're putting yourself in such a vulnerable position. I would not do that if I was you. If I was you, my friend, I would never do that. I'd never do that. Look, friend, just don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. No. Hey, beautiful people. <laughs> It seems as though my intro song doesn't want to play today. So we're just going to leave it out. Let's just pretend it was not there. It just doesn't want to do the things today. So it is what it is. How we doing? Welcome to my channel. I'm Kapana Shimange and this is How I Do Things. A show where you send me your questions and I'll let you know how I would do things. Now listen, you can take it as entertainment or you can use it as advice. Take it, don't take it, use it, don't use it at all. Listen, do what you will with it, okay? Do what you will with it because me, nah, ek, ma. Not a professional. I'm not a professional at all. Happy Monday. No, it's Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, beautiful people. It feels so weird because yesterday we had our show at a later time in the evening. So now we're just like a bit thrown off track. Let's see. I was waiting for the intro. Me too. And that's the thing with going live. Like, it's just here I am. I'm just like, hey, intro song is ready to go. And then next thing I press play and dololo intro song doesn't want to come to the party so yeah no intro song it is then i see the chats are already on fire like we're already going in with the conversation of would you become a housewife would you quit your job for your man girl listen if my friend came to me and let's put it in this perspective if your friend came to you and said that my friend I am thinking of quitting my job and, you know, staying with the kids and helping my husband out with his business or just helping him out with his work, you know, his employment or whatever it is, maybe becoming his assistant, you know. He gets more work done. He makes more money when when I help him. You know, he needs a helping hand. He can't find the right assistant. And I feel as though we would do better if we did that. What would you say? What would you say? Huh? Girl, I know some people are just like, hey, ha, huh? no, my friend, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't put yourself in that position. Don't make yourself vulnerable. That man's going to cheat on you. What if he leaves you? You're not going to have any money to yourself. All of those things are happening. And I can see that in the chat section is going down already. I know that some of us would consider it. And some of us would be like, I could never be a housewife. What would I do with my time? What would I do with myself? No, 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 no. Let's see what you guys are saying because we are live from Pretoria, South Africa. So I can see that. So let's see. Chantel is saying I could never be a housewife because then what's the point of me having studied? Or unless I could work from home, then I could be, it, it could be all good. I saw how my grandfather and my aunts treated them. Hmm, interesting, interesting. Then we have, let's see. Sylvie saying, I, do, I didn't go all the way to master's level just to come and come and sit at home. That's madness. I feel useless and powerless. Interesting. In Interesting. Um, so, Amokhelang, first time here. Good morning. Welcome to the morning party. And we also have... Um, Oh, Lorato's also here. Good morning, beautiful people. Melissa, good morning, darling. Um, you're welcome to the morning party. Khala is saying, welcome, Amo and Dineo. Karaba, good morning, lovely people. Asanda, good morning, ladies. Miss last night's party. Hope y'all are doing good. We're doing well. We're up in the morning. And we're having a good conversation first thing in the morning as a morning cup of tea before we head over to work. Um, then Arabetsu saying, um, all the years you spent waking up early, attending classes, sleepless nights, studying, only for me to become a housewife. I can't. I know. Let's see. Uh, Khala is, I was waiting for the intro song, girl. I was also waiting for the intro song. Um, I'm, ju I'm just that my fiancé doesn't agree in housewife issues. God knew what he was doing. Look, it's very interesting that sometimes you get into a marriage and then... 
later on, you know, the guy loves Miss Independent. Then Jiggy Jiggy. Man says, don't you want to stay at home with the kids? And you're just like, you know who you married. You know you did not marry a girl who's going to be a housewife. Not me. Not here. Not in my house. All right. Let's put on some lip gloss. This is actually lip gloss from Homesa Fleur. This is by Mbali. And I love it. Look at the difference. Mm. Girl, all you need is your lip gloss. And you go. You know the days of lip gloss. I remember when I was like 16 and I love, love, love putting on lip gloss. Mm. Yes. All right. So the comment sections are on fire. Could I? I wouldn't want to do it solely for him. It has to be my decision. Very interesting and very true. I know some days I feel like my job, um, I feel if my job, I would be a housewife. But 70% of the time, I know I wouldn't do it. I'm working too damn hard. And we have Garabo saying, me, I don't mind. I already, I'm already running my business at home and I see how I have missed out with helping my son with homework. Garabo, I love that one. You see, there's some balance in the conversations, guys. We just need to have some people for and some people are against. Where do I stand? Growing up, to be honest with you, I always kind of had fantasies of... Not, let me not call them fantasies, but dreams and visions of me working from home, of being the type of mom who, you know, bakes cookies for her kids and packs lunch for her kids and always has the time to go to rugby and to soccer and never misses a game. Um, I grew up with a busy mom and a busy dad and I love them to bits for it. But growing up, I saw the big, big, big difference that happened when my mom left her job to become an entrepreneur of her own and she had more time. And she had more attention. And I think I, I really loved having that. And there was a huge contrast between working mom um, and not working mom. She was still working. She had her own business. But I still felt as though she had more time and attention. And I loved that as a child. And having that made me feel like I want that for my kids. I don't want my kids to know the contrast. They just need to know a mom who is present. Um, but I still had the idea of having my own business or being a CEO, or being, you know, really at the top of the ladder and having a big business and being very powerful from a from a career perspective, but still having the time and freedom to be with my kids. I remember my friends used to laugh at this and be like, listen, if you're going to be professional, then there's no way you're going to have time for your kids. You have to choose one or the other. And I genuinely don't think that that is the truth. So Rikal is saying, I don't think I'd be a housewife because I hate being domestic. <laughs> I would stay at home. But don't expect me to clean. I would do salon, gym, and other fun things. Housewives of Pretoria. Yes, honey, I'll join you on that one. Emily saying, I can only become a housewife if I can work from home. But to say that I'm just sitting, cooking, wouldn't be able. I wouldn't be able. Jessica, right? Um, this is Dineo. To keep me from losing my mind. You need to do something. Finally, up early enough to catch the live. Good morning, everyone. Um, and that is Albertina. Mm, Tobek is saying if I had enough money I would uh, of my own I would knowing we would survive on one salary that's important all right so here are five things that I would say or you should maybe say or consider when your friend says to you my friend I'm thinking of quitting my job and staying at home number one is that you have no clue what's going on on in other people's marriages none you don't. As much as you have an opinion about being a housewife or not being a housewife or, you know, a person quitting and staying at home with her husband, you have no clue what conversations are happening inside that marriage. And the important conversation that happens when your friend comes to you and says, sips tea at lunch and is just like, my friend, I'm thinking of, you know, it's been, it's in, it's been in my mind. I'm thinking of quitting my job. There's been some sort of conversation that's been happen happening between her and her mans. And the conversation, number one, is can we afford for you to stay home? Um, and what are you going to do when you stay home? If a person's going to stay home, a lot of the times housewives don't just only cook and clean unless they've got 17 babies. A lot of the times when a woman is a housewife and only a housewife, meaning that she doesn't have a, a blog not even a blog, not a YouTube channel, not nothing, just a housewife, professional home executive, then it means that there's a lot of kids and they actually do need hands-on attention. And it's a decision that I don't want someone else to raise my children. I want to raise my children. I want to be the one who's there. So they are quite preoccupied. 
okay um uh komoto is saying being a, a soccer mom basically they're just a soccer mom and that means just being home taking care of the kids and their hands are full cleaning and taking home care of the kids could be a full-time job especially if you have quite a few kids taking care of them making sure the house is good and making sure your husband's good as well and making sure you're good having time for self-care and it's a decision that she makes because i honestly think that and and i'll get to this in point two becoming a housewife housewife is a calling but working from home and having the time to focus maybe on your husband and helping him with his career and having the time to work on your kids is a decision that couples make if they believe that one salary is enough to take care of both people and i'll get to it a bit later as well that there's huge advantages of both parties being involved in one income stream i'll tell you about that in a second but the most important thing is whatever you say to your friend just understand that you don't know the dynamics of the bank accounts and you don't know exactly what's going on in that house but at some point this person has can feel it that i really want this and it's something that i'm thinking about and it's something that i'm exploring and they had a conversation with their man so we don't know the dynamics of a couple we don't know how much their finances are and we don't know the desires that are happening in your friend's heart and this is leads to point number 2 that being a housewife housewife is a calling it's something that somebody just feels as though i really just want to spend that time in my house i really just want to be a homemaker i really really just want to experience being at home and having that time right so it's it's not easy to make that decision and it's not easy to even tell your friends because when you tell your friends you're just like ah patriarchy you are giving up the fight as women we have worked so hard to have equality and to have power within our careers and within the economic sector and you are giving up my friend that's how it feels it feels as though your friend is giving up on this fight for women to be taken as equals for women to also be seen as people with power but housewives doesn't mean that you are taking this this position of being less than and that is the dynamics of the household that how the husband treats the wife still as an equal even if she is the one who stays at home because she plays an important part of making the whole thing function money comes into the house but it does not run the house and it's it's a it's a thing that happens between the man and the woman if she feels as though my husband still respects me and still loves me and our house works better if we are, are working together towards one vision and she feels comfortable with that just know that it is a calling that she is answering to so i can see you guys where where feminists go by no they can chop it they can as a feminist you're just like no babe no you cannot give your man the power by giving up your job and you cannot make it that now you are his now you are his pet because you have no financial freedom of your own it means that you're giving up the power because you're giving up money and honestly there's a way to set up your finances even if you are a housewife in such a way that you still have security as a woman and that is a decision between the man and the woman if they come up to a point where it's just like okay fine i'm staying home and let's not call it a salary but there is a contribution that she has some sort of money of her own that she can use at her own discretion which is important because if you're going to be a housewife i can tell you now you're going to be going to the shops a lot you're going to have to buy a lot of things and always leaving with your man's card is terrible and if you are going to be a housewife and stay home and not make any economic you know any money monetary contribution to the house it is important that money is transferred from the husband to the wife for safety of the household that money is separated so that when she has money she is able to save invest and do as she will with the house because it will save the family in the future if you keep all the money in one basket it puts the whole relationship in risk So it is important if there's only one main stream of income it needs to be divided between man and wife at some point even if it's just a portion to the wife so that she can save invest and do it under her name for the safety of the household putting all the money in one pot makes it subject to the same debt makes it subject for anything can happen to that money if the man loses the job we're all in the poo but if you sort out your finances in such a way that the woman still has some sort of 
freedom to spend and invest as she will that gives the house more security. But again, it's a conversation between the woman and the man. All right. So then, Oscar Pan, how does one send a question if she um, doesn't have Instagram like me? Put it in the comment section and I'll see it, beauty. All right, cool. So number three, studies have shown, this is for all of you, I've never become a housewife. Ne? Studies have shown that houses that have one united pursuit for an income stream have more success. What do I mean by this? If I quit my job and was to help my husband and to become his assistant, and I'll, and I'll give you an example. There was a point when we were dating, and because I had freedom of time, I helped my, my boyfriend at the time, who's my husband now, and I helped him with the administration of his business. And those few months where I worked with him were some of his highest earning months. And that's how it works. That if two parties work together for one income stream, income increases. And that's how empires are built. That's how dynasties are built. When both parties work together towards one destination. And it's, it's, it's shown time and time again. If you study some of the richest people in the world, you will see that. Let's just look at Jeff Bezos. Was, his not, was his wife not involved? And was she not part of the success that they had? And that's why he was just like, she deserves it. And if you want to go fight in court when you guys divorce for some reason, the court will give you the money. Even if you were just at home, sorting out things at home, it gives the man the support he needs to go earn a higher income. And these days, and I've seen more, I'm seeing more and more examples of this, where men are leaving their careers to go and help the woman to grow her business. Women are becoming, the female economy is growing and women are taking the lead. And it's becoming a thing where women are more bankable these days. Women in specific, in specific positions. And more and more men are leaving their jobs to support women. If you want to just look at a very easy example, just look at leading female YouTubers. Their husbands have quit their jobs to support the woman in growing her business as a YouTuber. And that is just one example, but that happens across the board. It could be a woman in PR and having her own firm or a woman who has her own business as an accountant or a lawyer, where the man is just like, you know what, babe, let me join forces with you. And we have this as a family business and we grow this together. And what starts to happen? The income goes from here to here and the business grows not only horizontally but vertically when i say horizontal when i say vertical growth i'm saying from 10,000 to 100,000 a month and then it starts to grow in capacity in that she was a one woman business and then now there is a two man business so in terms of the skills and the and the capacities and the capabilities between the two they have grown and expanded wider in terms of what they can do and what they can offer studies have shown over and over and over again when couples join forces to go after one income, honey, that's how you take the money coming in from one stream and you diversify it so that yes, we're making money from one big income stream through this empire that we're building together. But once we take that money, then afterwards we are then able to divide it into property. We are then able to divide it into um, foreign, ex you know, foreign investments and all of those other things. Um, then Sylvie, we only know Jeff Bezos, not the woman. We, you hear um, Amazon and you think, Jeff, who thinks his wife did something with that? No one. Sylvie, but why do we have to do it for validation? Why do we have to be the ones to be seen? And that's the thing is that are you doing it for validation and for other people? And are you doing it for credit or are you doing it for the family? It's, it's a very... It's the difference between you wanting to know that you take the credit for something and you want to be the one known for something. And what happens, and this is what is also happening with men who are joining forces for women, is that they are fine with being the wind beneath the wings. They are fine with being the ones who are the supportive ones and not being the one who is known. And if you also want to be known, then have your own career and go have your own credit. But if you want to build the family, 
and you are happy being the one in the background, then it works out beautifully. It works out perfectly. And that's all because of you and your own decision that do you want to get credit for your own work? Good, go have your own career. But if you are okay with not getting credit, if you're okay with not being the one who is seen, we're all very different, then you can be the wind beneath the wings. You can be the silent partner. And that happens with a lot of businesses. We may think that you know, that, um, look at Steve Jobs. He wasn't alone. He had his person who was next to him. Look at so many businesses where you think that there's one leading person, but in the background, there's a business partner who didn't take the limelight and is almost an equal partner in the business, but they're okay with not being seen. And the same thing can happen within marriages. All right, cool. So we also hear ooh, the discussions. I would ask him, um, then we discuss. What I know is always how him with his schoolwork and work reports and I enjoyed the time we teamed up. It's very nice teaming up with your person. I also enjoy teaming up with my husband. It's such an it, it, it was such a it's such a great way that we, we work together. Um but we're still two very big opinionated people sometimes. So sometimes it it led to nice heated debates. Um it's hard I don't, I don't want to lie. I stayed home for five years now with no luck of responding to my job applications. It's harder when the man is your life and is not, a, is not generous with money. It's depressing. Pomolo, that's why it's so important to have such an open and easy discussion. Some relationships don't work with a united front. And that means you have to go get your own job. But some relationships do work with a united front. It's a very important thing. That's why I started with number one, which is that it's it, you don't know what's happening in a marriage and if your marriage is well suited for a united front in terms of pursuing the same income then you do it but if it is not then you need to do what works best for you and your marriage some personalities work well together we share money we make it together we share the credit but some personalities don't where it's just like it's my money i earned it i did it even if you think you helped me but it's my money i get so you have to find out how does it work in terms of your relationship dynamics and is it best for you guys to have a united friend? Um, I don't want to be in the background. My kids must see me work and they'll think their mom is lazy, uneducated and depends on a man. It's a very, it's a very interesting point. Um, and it all depends on how you raise your kids, honestly. If you, if you raise your kids to um, not see that, and to only praise the man for the work that he does, then that's the opinion that they will take. But then again, as we always say, it depends on the personalities. If you feel as though your personality and your character is best suited when you pursue your own income and the man pursues his own income, then that's a good thing. But if you feel as though it is good for us, our personalities, our characters work in such a way that we can combine and we are happy, then that's a good thing. Then you do it for you. That mindset should be changed. Which one? Where's Beauty's comment? Because I have seen how their egos and what more and uh, egos clout, what's more important, it's frustrating because our elders still believe that men are supposed to be superior than women in the first place. That is a very toxic and uh, toxic behavior and belief that is passed down from generation to generation. Um, and I'm going to get into that in a second. So number four, a unified goal in life is important and this is where it is um this is where sylvie's uh point comes in about you know your kids seeing that the woman is working and how your character and your personality is it's important that if you're going to be a housewife or if you're going to quit to support him and remember this is not just towards the, the man, but this is happening more and more where men are quitting their jobs to support the woman. It's becoming more and more, it, 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 we see more examples of it. It's becoming normalized and I love it. So if that is the case, it means that there needs to be a united goal where both parties want the same thing. And I've seen this with a friend of mine. She met her husband with them pursuing the same career. So she then left her job to join the family business. But she only did that because she wanted the same business. They wanted the same thing from a career perspective. So instead of them building two identical businesses, they now have a family business. And she always repeats that, guys, I'm not working for him. This is a family business. 
And that's how they talk about it over and over again, that this is a family business. This is not dad's business, or this is not my husband's business. Even though the husband started it, it's a family business. You know, this is the surname. This is the family business. And they each have their respective roles in the business, where it's not that one person is the lead and another person is an assistant, rather that we are both building a family business. So that is a very important thing that you have a united goal. If you both have different goals, then it won't really work out for you. If you are very passionate about the one goal that you have and you're very passionate about the career that you have, then you should pursue that career in your individual capacity. It's important. It's important for the dynamics of your house that everybody is happy and that everybody is aligned to what makes them happy. And If you are aligned with your purpose, which is to pursue your career in this direction, then do that because misalignment in the household is is so terrible. Honestly, misalignment in the household can create such unhappy people and we don't want that. The most important thing is happiness. If your friend feels as though I want to be a housewife because me pursuing my job and him pursuing his job is a misalignment in our household and we want alignment in our household, then it's a good thing. So, number four being that we need to have a united front, a united goal. If there is an existence of a united goal, and if you feel in alignment with this united goal, then go for it. But if there's no united goal, and if there's no alignment for you personally as well, then don't do it. Because an unhappy household is not a good household to live in. It's not a good household to nurture a relationship to nurture a marriage, and to nurture children. All right, so conversation is heated. I feel like growing the business of one partner for me would only work if the marriage is in community of property because ultimately, should anything happen, both parties will get um, to the share of the business. Not necessarily, um, it doesn't have to happen in community of property. Community of property is honestly a very dangerous um form of marriage and the reason why is that if the business should crumble then any investments that the woman makes in her own capacity having shared money from the business will also be taken to pay off anything that has gone wrong with the business so if you have a different marital regime then you come independently so what happens is sometimes um, when you come into the business you can marry you get married in accrual and that is a completely different conversation but if you are different entities in a business and you have Um, shares in the business then you guys will be treated as individuals in one entity right and that is important because if the business should crumble if the man should get into debt then the woman can still uphold the household while the man's finances crumble even though there is a family business so i would not recommend community property for anyone even if you get divorced and you have built a business together you can still go to court and get your share Don't worry about that. Make sure that how you sign up the business and how the shares in the business works protects you in that way as well. Contracts are very important. And maybe I'll just bring on my husband to speak about marital contracts and business contracts because he's the lawyer, not me. Even though I I do know about it, but I ain't going to go into it right now. Okay, let's wrap this up. Number five is that let's not project. (laughs) Let's not project our ideas our preferences onto other people and this happens often that if you don't believe in being a housewife you think it's dangerous and you have seen it in your own life that housewives and people who have quit their jobs to work with their men have gone terribly don't project that onto your friend don't project your fears and your own limitations onto your friend and the same goes in the opposite direction If you have a friend who grew up with a mom who was a housewife and they were happy and they are still happily married and things are going well, people in those situations also tend to project onto their friends and say, you know, my friend, you should be more reliant on your man. You know, my friend, you should do this, this and that. Remember, we all come with our own bias. We all come with our own traumas in life. And then those traumas in life give us a slight tilt And they give us a slight way of seeing things and then we try and project that onto other people. Everybody 
has their own way of rationalizing things based on their past experiences in life. If you have come from a long line of happy marriages, of marriages working out where there's interdependency, of marriages working out where there's one stream of income, and your friend comes from the complete opposite, you guys will always butt heads on this. So be happy to say that that is your, your perspective on this, and that is okay, my friend. I just wish you well. Say your opinion, say your piece. Maybe your friend might not have seen things from a specific angle, but don't hold it against your friend that she wants to become a housewife and you are completely against it. Don't hold it against her. Maybe the best advice that you can give her is, my friend, make sure that you sort out your marital regime. Make sure that maybe protect yourself from a contractual perspective so that should your marriage dissolve in the future, you are still protected. And also just let her know that have a little bit of your own money so that you can invest it in your own way. So maybe she might not have thought about that. Maybe she was going to shake her, her, her bank cards with her husband, which is not a good idea, that she should still have her own financial independence and that money should be sent to her on a regular basis, on a monthly basis, and that she gets to spend that money and invest that money in her own free will. And that's as far as the conversation will go, okay? Let's read the comments. Okay, Sylvie is on fire today. I know, Sylvie is very passionate about this conversation. So, Beauty, I think how we are raised is a huge contribute, uh, has a huge contribution to how we choose to live. E.g., I was raised in a single mother home and she taught me independency. So, having to become a housewife would be difficult for me. And that's exactly what it is in that we, can, we have our own backgrounds and our own histories. And those have a impact on how we live our lives moving forward and we can work through those past traumas because everything's trauma to be honest with you having come from a place where you have a supportive housewife mom who's overbearing can traumatize you in another way okay so we all come from our own bias and our own trauma just don't opt for being a stay-at-home mom if you still stay in family house with his husband with his mother please the old woman makes marriages suffer so badly that does happen maybe i should invite my mother-in-law and my mom and be like guys let's speak about this mom thing um and having overbearing moms or having moms who just are interfering in marriages it's an interesting conversation sylvie Kopano, i think you should do a video about leaving your job to join your husband in another town who joins um who man or woman that's an interesting one. I think I'll definitely take note and do that. If you both are building the business and both quit your jobs, then perfect. We must both get a salary, but don't tell me quit your job and I'll provide. Man, you crazy. Sylvie, Sylvie's on fire today. Morning, good people. I'm late, but I'll catch up later. Good morning, Dipu, uh, Dimpo and family legacy. I'm behind that because that's our ultimate relationship goal. I love that, Chantal. I love that in this conversation, we have people coming from all different angles. And some people are for it. Some people are against it. And some people are in the middle. But it's a heated one. And I enjoyed this one. This is what makes me want to do lives. This, this was too juicy. Okay, we're going to be late for work. Hala, are you going to work? Are you going to be late? Hadis, go to work before you are late. Busi, everybody, go to work. You're going to be late. Thank you so much for joining this morning. Thank you for the heated debate. I think we should have more topics like this. This was too fun. This was too fun. Let me know in the comment section if you enjoyed this one and give it a big thumbs up if you did so we can have more of these heated discussions. Love this. All right. Okay. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good one. Thanks for joining.